Ministry of Education says it is rolling out plans to build boarding facilities alongside a number of the E-Block senior high schools started under the erstwhile NDC administration. According to Minister uh, Dr. Yawasei Duchum, this is in furtherance of government's plans for increased investment in science, technology, engineering and mathematics education in Ghana. Kukwa Asante, my colleague, has more in the following report. Things are shifting. Things are changing. And what do we need to do? What we need to do is to change our education system to meet that need. And to meet that need means that we need to focus on STEM education. Dr. Yao Osei Educhum has explained the new focus of his ministry is to make science, technology, engineering and maths education in the country attractive as a sure way of growing the country's economy. The ministry, in partnership with the Academic City University College, organized a forum to discuss STEM education and how all stakeholders can come together and ensure its success. As part of this, the minister says government will begin the institution of an incentive system to ensure more STEM teachers accept postings to rural and deprived areas. We have to address incentives for teachers in rural areas. Ghana Education Service is working on this issue and I want them to speed it up so that that system can be created, so that there will be no school in this country without a teacher. Senior high schools have also been built from scratch across the country as part of these efforts which will focus largely on STEM education. So the infrastructure that we are doing is to reform systems that are already in place in our regular schools as we also build facilities that will ensure that STEM can truly be practiced. But not only this, the e-blocks built by the erstwhile NDC administration will now be equipped with boarding facilities. Ensure that in areas where there are e-blocks and there are no dorms, of course e-blocks didn't come with dorms, there are no facilities for students to come there and for the schools to be operationalized we are building dormitory blocks so that the e-blocks can also be operationalized for the benefit of the Ghanaian student. Those resources that were used in building the e-blocks were the resources of this nation. And the president has directed that we do everything possible to ensure that in cases where the e-blocks were not built in the middle of town and the schools cannot be open because students cannot just walk there, as is the case of Drobonso, the selection of Academic City University College as the venue for this conversation is not coincidental. The institution offers world-class programs in technology and engineering with a state-of-the-art and ultra-modern campus in Ghana with a vision to become a world-class center for learning, innovation and entrepreneurship that nurtures future leaders who can innovatively solve complex problems within an ethical, entrepreneurial, and collaborative environment. The University College says it's ready to play its role in deepening STEM education in Ghana. As part of the STEM efforts, government plans to grow the country's gross tertiary enrollment to 40% by 2030. The gross tertiary enrollment ratio is one important metric that if you can track, you know your country is changing. So Ghana is 18.8%, South Korea is 96.3%, and that is why the President of the Republic, Nana Dodanko Kufuado, during the last State of the Nation address, told the country that he wants to move the gross tertiary enrollment ratio of Ghana from the current 18.8% to 40% by 2030.